welcome to my channel learn and earn to live your life on your own terms everyone you're welcome to my channel learn and earn academy and today we are going to learn about precision agriculture what do you mean by precision and what is agriculture has to do with precision now if i have to explain this method of agriculture in simple words it comes from the word precision itself precision means accurate to the point precise and this is how the agriculture is done using precision agriculture for example if you see traditional normal farming which goes on in the villages you will see a farmer will just run away the water no matter where the water goes whether it reaches the last crop in the field or not it doesn't matter but in precision farming this water will be precisely taken to the tip of the crop hence it will not only remove the wastage of water but will also improve the productivity by giving proper growth to the crops so precision means use of technology infrastructure and new machinery in the field of agriculture to enhance productivity so you are using whatever resources you have in a very effective manner so you don't have you are not wasting water anymore you are using each and every drop of water exactly at the place where it is required and this is the basic understanding about this great form of agriculture which is precision agriculture so let us learn about this agriculture in detail so precision agriculture refers to the precise application of agriculture inputs with respect to soil weather and crop in order to improve productivity quality and profitability in agriculture so as i have already discussed with you it is the precise application of agriculture inputs such as soil weather to improve productivity and quality and obviously if the productivity and quality of your farming improves you will make more profit so it is a modern agriculture practice which involves the use of technology now this is the key precision farming can only be done with the help of technology because only technology can tell you what exactly is required at what time like remote sensing gps geographical information system for improving productivity and profitability so to remote sensing you can not only predict the weather the climate the atmosphere which is appropriate for putting fertilizers or giving water to the plants using gps to see what part of the field is required to give in more attention it enables farmers to use crop inputs more efficiently including pesticides fertilizers tillage and irrigation water so with the use of precision agriculture through the use of technology the farmer knows how much pesticide is required for this crop how much fertilizer is required for my crop at this period of time and do i need to irrigate my field after every one hour or maybe after every one week this type of farming which is precision farming will give you the exact details will give you the exact timings quantity and quality of pesticides and fertilizers to be used hence precision agriculture is about doing the right thing in the right place in the right way at the right time 
I'm sure this has made the concept of precision farming absolutely clear in your mind. So what are the advantages of precision farming? The most important advantage is it will enhance agriculture productivity and it will prevent soil degradation. Now what happens if the farmers don't know how much fertilizer is required for their crop? What they do, they bring sacks and sacks of fertilizer and they put it all over the field. Hence, the soil degrades. Instead of improving the productivity, it decreases. It makes the, it damages the soil itself. It will reduce excessive chemical usage. So by use of precision farming, the farmer can know how much quantity and quality a fertilizer is required for his crop. So he will not use excess chemical and hence the soil quality will be retained. Now as I've already told you, water resources will be utilized efficiently. There will be no wastage of water. Dissemination of information about agriculture practices to improve quality, quantity and reduce cost of production. Now precision farming not only involves technology but also information sharing about agriculture practices on how to improve the quality, quantity and reduce the cost of production so that the farmer can make more profit. So if my cost of production is less, obviously I will get better returns. And hence, the concept of doubling the farmer's income can easily be achieved if we can bring precision farming in India on a larger scale. It will minimize the risk to the environment, particularly with respect to nitrate leaching and groundwater contamination by means of optimization of agrochemical products. Now, this is a key. Now, environment will be safe because the amount of chemical fertilizers required in the soil will be known and excessive use of groundwater to irrigate the fields will stop. What are the disadvantages of precision farming and why exactly you don't hear this word in India often? The only reason is because it requires high capital cost and farmers in India are not in a position to invest so much of money in technology and it is still under development. So if you want to practice precision agriculture, you not only need money for investment to bring new technology, but also you need to get expert advice. So it may take several years before the actual collection of sufficient data to fully implement the system. It is extremely difficult task, particularly the collection and analysis of data. Now how could India benefit from precision farming? This is the most important question. Now refinement and wider application of precision agriculture technologies can help in reducing production cost increasing productivity and better utilization of natural resources. Now these are the challenges which Indian agriculture is facing. So if we use precision agriculture, we will be reducing production cost, we will be increasing productivity and we will be effectively utilizing our natural resources. And it has the ability to revolutionize modern farm management in India. because you'll get profitability, more productivity, sustainable agriculture, crop quality will be good and environment will be protected. Obviously the on-farm quality of life of the farmers will also improve. It will bring food safety and rural economic development so much of benefits. Site-specific application of irrigation in wheat of Punjab and Haryana Pesticides and cotton fertilizer application in oil palm plantation in South India and coffee and tea garden of Eastern India can highly reduce production cost 
and it also reduce environmental loading of chemicals now every region in our country is specific for production of specific crops and if we use precision farming we'll be able to know and to utilize that particular region for giving the maximum productivity it can increase the efficiency of irrigation which is one of the biggest challenges because India faces shortage of water farmers can use forecast and mitigate problems like water stress nutrient deficiency it also increases opportunities for skilled employment in agriculture sector and also provides new tools for evaluating multifunctional aspects including non-market function so if precision farming is brought at a larger scale in India the biggest benefit will be to the people to the students who will get an opportunity of employment to use the technology in precision farming it will be also essential to monitor greenhouse conditions now what are the challenges in adopting precision farming in India now, India is yet at a nascent stage due to its unique pattern of land holdings in India the farmers don't have big land holdings they have small fragmented land holdings poor infrastructure and the farmers don't want to take any risk because of their own social economic and demographic conditions so this is the challenge the small size of land holdings in most of the Indian agriculture limits economic gains from current available precision farming technology so if you have to bring technology you cannot bring it on a small piece of land the land has to be big so that the efficiency of using that technology increases rapid socio-economic changes such as economic growth urbanization and energy consumptions are creating new opportunities for the application of precision farming in India so India is moving way forward <clears throat> instead of blindly adopting the advanced precision agriculture technologies adopted by developed countries India should adopt technologies based on the need of socio-economic condition of the country I'm sure you like this video and you have got a clear understanding of this important topic which will be helpful for you to have an insight on precision farming if you like the video you can press the like button subscribe to my channel and also press the like button you may please like to also share among your friends on various social media platforms so that we feel encouraged and bring more such topics so what is the next topic which you want me to discuss related to agriculture or any field in which I will give you the best possible explanation of the most difficult of the concepts thank you have a great day bye bye if you like my video please like share comment and subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell icon